Hi, Vinny. Les Grobstein, uh, ABC Radio and Associated Hi, Press Radio. Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Um, there's a two-part question real quick. Uh, there was a perception, right or wrong, that a couple of these players didn't put out last year. A couple may have been more worried about their contracts or whatever. Is it a clean slate as far as you're concerned with these guys? The second, any thought of your Benetton teammate, Tony Kukoc, as a possible assistant? Well, Tony's a good buddy of mine. I haven't talked to Tony in a while, but obviously uh, um, we've, we've known each other a long time. But I'm open to any suggestions and things. But as far as the, the players go, I would say it's a clean slate for right now. Obviously, we haven't got into the f you know full process. My first thing will be to contact all the players and set up meetings and talk to them and then make opinions from there. Um, but there's no, like I said, no uh, notions in terms, no you know, predeceived notions in terms of what I think of players, and you know, because I think it's unfair. I think it's unfair, uh, you know, for the players. It's unfair for the organization, myself, just to come in here and say, okay, it was like this last year. It's going to be different this way or whatever. I think you have to give it a little bit of time and work those things out. Man, I don't see that being a problem. I think there's a lot of quality players, a lot of quality people here. Every all the research I've done, all the people I've talked to, obviously. Uh, um, you know, feel the same way. So, you know, this is the, this was the premier job to get. And I'm just very fortunate to be here and I'm going to go into it, um, you know, talking to the players and getting a feel for them as well. Vinny, uh, Rick Morrissey with the Chicago Tribune. Right here. Hey, Rick. Hi. Um, obviously, this is a professional highlight for you today. Mm -hmm. I just wonder what, what it's like to kind of be, come to town here and be greeted with bit of public skepticism about your hiring because of your lack of experience. I, I think it, you know, that, that's a, that's fair. I mean, hey, I haven't coached before, but I, like I said before, as people get to know me and um, get around me and we talk and get to know what I believe in and, and, and get this team going in the right direction, um, obviously winning builds confidence. And there's a young team here, and they need a little bit of a, a confidence boost, I think. And it's not going to be a, I'm not, like I said before, I'm not a magician. I just can't create things all of a sudden. It's going to be a daily work process. And, you know, that, those are fair questions. I don't have a problem with that. And uh, I have to go, and I have, I have the challenge ahead of me to prove myself, and that's what I'm all about. And as you, like I said, as you get to know me, um, it's a, a tremendous challenge. It's a huge challenge. But I feel very confident with the people around me and the support staff I have, from my wife and family, obviously to the organization here with, with Jerry and Pax and Gar and everyone involved, that – it's a great opportunity, and I'm going to go in there and prepare these guys the way I feel. You know, I can control three, three, three basic things. I know this team will be well-conditioned. I know they'll be well-prepared. And I definitely know that they'll be competitive in terms of they'll compete at a high level because I can control those things. Everything else is, is going to be a daily work process, and we're going to go after it. And every day we'll build the staff, I'll get in front of the players, and we'll start the process. Vinny. Rick yep. Tellender, Chicago Sun-Times. Vinny, will it be your decision uh, whether the Bulls take Derrick Rose or Michael Beasley in the draft, and has that decision been made yet? Uh, that, no, that, that decision hasn't been made yet. Obviously, I'm going to have a big input in that, but it's going to be a collaborative effort. We're going to work together. I think that's important. Um, I've been in the front office. I've done all those, you know, those things, and I've scouted all those players this past year and things, but, you know, you know, ultimately, it becomes down to our relationship and, and Gar Foreman involved heavily and obviously Jerry. But the basketball decisions will be made by us and uh, we'll have our feelings on things. We'll bring those guys in next week and get to know them a little bit better and work them out and things. But there isn't any decision made yet. Obviously, the focus has been this and we have other people working on that. But um, it, it's an exciting time, obviously, to have the number one pick and how we feel it'll work. And um, you might want to comment no, on that I a little bit. The decision hasn't been made, Rick. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs>